most amazing hybrid animals to ever exist. Hey everyone, it's Alexa, and welcome back to Taltanic, here with another video. Our world is chock full of exciting and surprising animals, and with the crossbreeding of various species, things have gotten even more interesting. We see animals today that never would have been dreamt of 50 to 100 years ago, and we see things that only could have existed in science fiction not that long ago. Get prepared to see some hybrids that may blow your mind. But before we get into today's video, make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell to make sure you never miss any upcoming videos. Liger. You may have seen this hybrid animal in videos from us before, but it's one remarkable hybrid, so we have to include it here. And for those of you that don't know, yes, ligers are a real thing. They may have been brought into the limelight and made a little more famous by Napoleon Dynamite, but they've been around for some time, and they're wonderful creatures. They are the product of a female tiger and a male lion, and so far as we know, they only exist in captivity at the moment. They grow very quickly and are the biggest cats in the world. Hercules, a male liger, is the largest living cat on Earth, weighing in at 904 pounds. That's insane. Zonkey A zonkey is a form of zebroid, or zebra hybrid. There are a few different kinds of hybrids made with zebras, including the zorse, a zebra horse hybrid, and the zoni, a zebra slash pony. The zonkey is pretty self-explanatory, or so we'd think, but we'll let you know a little bit about them anyway. A zonkey is created by the mating of a zebra and a donkey, and it's a very rare combination because most times the two animals are unable to breed due to a mismatch in chromosomes. But sometimes it does happen. Zonkeys are found occasionally in South Africa, where donkeys and zebras live in proximity to one another. They typically look like the donkeys, but are striped, like a zebra, making for one cute offspring and a pretty incredible hybrid animal. Geep. You can probably guess what animals are used to make this cute hybrid animal, but if not, we'll let you in on a secret. It's a goat and a sheep. They're sometimes called a shoat, but geep is a little cuter and fits the adorable little creature much better. The two animals are fairly genetically distant, therefore most times the babies of the two are stillborn, but sometimes they live and are extremely rare. But it does and has happened, and typically results in babies with 57 chromosomes, as goats have 60 and sheep have have just 54. Too bad they're so rare, because they're so beautiful. We're sure most people wouldn't mind having one of these little guys running around their house. Tigon. Much like the liger, this animal is a crossbreed between a lion and a tiger. Although with this one, it's a male tiger and a female lion, and not vice versa. That makes them a little bit different than the liger, and they are rarer than their reverse counterparts. They can be spotted and striped at the same time, and they take on characteristics from both of their big cat parents. They typically weigh around 400 pounds, and they're not known to be able to exceed the size of their parents due to growth inhibitory genes. This makes them much different than the liger, which can grow far larger than their parents and are, as we said, the largest cats out there. Jag lion. These are sometimes called jaguans and are the offspring of a lioness and a male jaguar. They are extremely rare, and there is a mounted specimen in Hertfordshire, England at the Walter Rothschild Zoological Museum that has the build of a jaguar, the rosettes of said jaguar, and the background brown color of a lion. There are also two jag lions born in Barrie, Ontario, Canada at the Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary in 2016 that were the unintentional product of a lioness named Lola and a jaguar named Diablo who were raised together. Tsunami, one of the babies, is spotted, and the other, Jazara, is a melanistic jag lion. This shows that the results of this kind of breeding vary and can be really unpredictable, but they're super cool either way. Zebroid. As we mentioned earlier, a zebroid is a combination of a zebra and any kind of equine. As we learned, zebras can be mixed with horses, ponies, or donkeys, and they generally turn out pretty darn cool looking. A zebra and a horse baby is a zorse, a zebrule, a zebra mule, or a zebrula, and they are made using a male zebra stallion and a horse mare. Then there's the zoni, a cross between a male zebra stallion and a female pony. And then, of course, there's the zonkey, but we already mentioned that one. Zorses and zebroids in general have been featured in many books and on TV shows and movies and are really quite extraordinary. Wolpin. This here animal is a product of a male false killer whale and a female bottlenose dolphin. It's been said that there are examples of these in the wild. However, there are only two currently held in captivity, and they're in Hawaii at Sea Life Park. The first time a wolpin was ever recorded was one that was born in Tokyo at their sea world, but he passed after just 200 days. Kekai Malu and Kawili Kai are the two wolpins in Hawaii. 
Kawili Kai is the third child of Kekaimalu and is the only one that survived any significant amount of time. Kekaimalu's first baby passed after just a few days. Her second made it nine years but still passed before her mother. The Wolpin is typically larger than a bottlenose dolphin and larger than a false killer whale, and they're adorable, just like both of their parent creatures. Growler Bear These big beauties are a combination of two different, terrifying kinds of bears the grizzly, and the polar bear. It's a very rare hybrid that has occurred both in captivity and in the wild, as proven in 2006 when a unique-looking bear shot in Saks Harbor had its DNA tested. Grizzlies and polar bears often avoid each other in the wild despite their similar genetics and their living in the same areas. So, researchers are still trying to figure out how or why they occur in the wild. One theory has it that melting ice caps have driven polar bears inland and into closer contact with grizzlies, making mating a much more realistic possibility. Ability. Their physical traits are usually a relatively even mixture from both parent bears, although their personalities tend to tip more toward their polar bear family members. A Kai Wolf Now, obviously, this is a crossbreed between a coyote and a wolf, but did you know that they only diverged and became two different species between 55,000 and 117,000 years ago? We also bet you didn't know that almost all North American populations of gray wolf possess some mixture with coyotes. These mixed breeds tend to be larger than the average coyote, but smaller than the average wolf, and display behaviors which fall between both parent species. There are many different breeds of kai wolf, from red and eastern wolves to eastern coyotes, and they sometimes also go by woyote. The beefalo. Okay, the name of this thing is fantastic. A beefalo is the product of a domestic cow and an American bison. It is a created breed, and those who made it did so in the name of beef production. In appearance and genetics, beefalo are mainly cattle, and roughly 37.5% of their genes are bison. Those with higher percentages of bison genes are more often called bison hybrids rather than beefalo. Beefalo meat is lower in cholesterol and fat than the average beef from cattle, and it's also known to be more flavorful, nutritious, and tender, as well as having 4 to 6% more protein. The animals themselves grow faster, tolerate extreme temperatures better, and do less damage to rangeland than cattle, and it won't be surprising if we see a lot more of these in the future. Kama. These animals are a hybrid made from a female llama and a male dromedary camel, and have been made in Dubai at the Camel Reproduction Center through artificial insemination. Llamas have fairly decent wool production, but the aim with crossbreeding these two animals is to create an animal capable of an even higher output of the fabric. Artificial insemination is needed when crossing the two animals, as the dromedary camel can sometimes weigh as much as six times more than a llama. By April 2008, five commas had been born, with the first a male, born on January 14, 1998. Zo. This oddly named animal is a hybrid of domestic cattle and a yak. The name Zo usually refers to a male hybrid, whereas female hybrids are known as Zomo or Zom. These, combining their English names, are sometimes called Yaddle, and Yaddle are normally stronger and larger than both cattle and yaks. Zo are infertile creatures, but surprisingly, Zomo Zomo are fertile. This means the two cannot mate, but a Zomo can be back-crossed, which means it can mate with one of its parent creatures or another creature genetically similar to its parent. This also means that many yak or cattle that are thought to be pure may carry some of the other's genetic material. Leopon. These animals' parent animals can probably be guessed based on some of the other animals we've already seen on this list. A leopon is a product of mating a female lion or lioness with a male leopard. The body looks very similar to that of a leopard, but the head is very close to that of a lion. The first ever documented leopon came into being way back in 1910 in Kolhapur, India, and it was first described by Reginald Innes Pocock in 1912. Their spots are brown instead of black, and they have tufted tails and typically combine features of both the leopard and lion. But they do climb, as leopards do, and they enjoy playing in the water, so they seem to take more more after their leopard ancestors in personality. Zubron. A Zubron is what you get when you cross a Wizent with a domestic cattle. For those of you who don't know, a Wizent is a European bison, which basically makes a Zubron analogous to our own American beefalo. Zubron wasn't just given as the name for this animal. In 1969, a competition was held by a Polish magazine, who then chose it as the winning name for the bison-cow hybrid. It was first created in 1847 by Leopold Wolicki, although it's been speculated that it may have appeared 
before that, but was undocumented. They were even considered as a possible replacement for domestic cattle following the First World War, as they were thought of as a cheap and hardy animal. Zubrons are hefty, weighing between 1,700 and 2,600 pounds, and are disease-resistant, durable, and can tolerate harsh weather conditions. We've seen a lot of crazy hybrid animals already, and we still have the number one to go. But first, we'd like to ask you, what types of hybrid animals would you be interested in seeing in the future? What would be some exciting combinations if we were able to cross any animals we wanted? Let us know what you think in the comments below. 1. Narluga This unique animal is very rare, and some people don't even believe it's a real thing, but there's been a bunch of evidence pointing to the contrary. In the 1980s, a skull was found that seemed to share equal characteristics of both the beluga whale and the narwhal, and it wasn't just a one-time occurrence. The animals have strong and burly lower jaws, and their teeth are sort of like a combination between the two animals. They don't, however, have the tusk of a narwhal, and they also don't have evolutionary survival traits as most non-hybrid animals have. These creatures signal yet again that there's probably something wrong with our environment, as Arctic hybrid animals aren't all that common, and them beginning to pop up is cause for concern. It shows that natural barriers, such as ice caps, are disappearing, allowing these animals into the same spaces they were unable to occupy before. 